Greetings and salutations everybody. I know I promised a video on the Pro Play Games. Oh, actually no, it was the Top Cut uh, tournament, the 256 uh, Top Cut tournament. I had my tournaments mixed up because I've been doing a lot of them, so you'll have to forgive me for that one. <laughs> but as always, I'm Rad Dreams. Welcome to Rad Dreams Review. We are going to be talking about some Digimon. Yes, uh, on a more competitive side. And we'll be kind of discussing uh, my matchups that I had over the weekend, um, what I kind of took out of it, and what I plan to do in the future in terms of adjustments for the deck that I played itself. Uh, so with that being said, Let's get into my deck list first, and then we will go into the individual matchups themselves, okay? All right. All right, let's start off with our rookies. That's right, you're looking at this correctly. We did end up making a purple deck, and my reasoning for this was because I envisioned a lot of green and surprisingly uh, purple does very well against green decks uh, from all of my playtesting and we'll kind of go over my list like I said and then we will go into the individual matchups and I'll kind of tell you how I did but let's start off with the rookies we have four impmon uh, I did end up adjusting that to three and I'll show you my updated list once we kind of go through everything. And as you notice in the background, my sweet boy, Mr. Mowgli, has joined us for this tournament discussion. Say hi, Mowgli. He, he's, shown you, uh, he's shown you his belly there. This is, uh, I call it the trap pose, but enough uh, <laughs> banter here. Uh, let's uh, go into our next four, which is the Draw Gabumon when he dies. I did end up cutting him to three, I believe, with my updated list. And with Tapermon, I uh, cut him down to two in my updated list. Um, and then Demi Devamon kept him the same with my updated list. But yeah, so we have four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is like the standard ratio when you do rookies in decks only you know unless you're doing like rookie rush or something but uh, let's go into our champions here doing this in paint hope you don't mind uh, we are running two saber German uh, because of the inheritable retaliation effect because if I go against green um, that that kind of you know, disincentivizes them to swing into my dude because they'll be sacrificing themselves due to the retaliation inheritable effect but i did end up cutting her to one copy in favor of a miramon because of the one digivolution cost it really comes in handy when you want to choke your opponent but we'll get into that with my uh later adjustments uh, we run four Devamon. That is an absolute must. You need to have four of him in a uh, purple deck because he's just so good that retaliation is just so crucial. Not only does he have it on himself, but he has it as an inheritable effect. So good. Your standard four blocks, no more, no less. Keep that as it is. Four Lady Devamon. This card is absolutely bonkers. Um, it is... Uh, as many would say, value the card. Because, just listen to this effect, right? She did Her digivolving effect is when she digivolves, she triggers a draw two, then trash two, and then her inheritable is completely busted. And it saved me so many times. Um, it's if, when you use an option card, you can kill one of your opponent's level three Digimon. That is just broke. I can't tell you how many times I digivolved uh, Lilithmon on top of her and used Lilithmon's ability to cast like Night Raid or Darkness Claw for free and just kill one of the dudes. It's just insane value. Insane value. And then if she gets retaliation underneath her for Saber Dramon, that just makes 
it's so much more satisfying when they swing into her and kill her. Um, I did end up cutting her down to three in my updated list. I haven't decided whether or not I want to keep that change because she's just so good. Um, so let us go into our next ultimate. We got two Chimeramon. I think that's a pretty good number for him. Um, then we'll go into our Megas, then our options slash tamers and whatnot. All right, so we got two Lilithmon. That is uh, essential there. I want to cut this Beelzemon for a third copy of her, but I don't have one. So currently Beelzemon is filling that slot, and he, he's come up. Like, he's useful, um, for, especially for deleting a level four for his digivolving effect. It, it, he serves a purpose, so I'm keeping him in there. Then we've got two Millennium on. I need to have those in there. I do not want to cut those. They saved my ass so much. Uh, super clutch card, won me a lot of games. 100% uh, would keep. And then for Piedmon, I run three copies. However, I do want to adjust it to two copies because I wasn't really finding myself wanting to, you know, hard play him a lot. So uh, four copies of Trump Sword for that extra rem removal. Uh, want to cut it down to three with my updated list. Then we got two Matashitas. Um, that's pretty standard. I want that ratio to be around two to three because I want to see him more often. Um, so I haven't really decided if I want to keep him at two or three. Um, then we got two Darkness Law. That is essential. Need that in there. Um, I'm debating on running a third, but I can't tell you how many times in my matches they check that in security and it basically functions like a hammer spark. So it's so good. Uh, Heat Viper, we have one copy. I'm debating, excuse me, on cutting that entirely, but I'm worried about the Rookie Rush um, as well as like Imperial Dramon because if they have like two Vmons on the board with jamming, uh, that comes in really handy for just deleting one of my guys to delete those. So um, then we'll move on to Night Raid, two copies. Uh, won't run any less than that. Probably not more. Uh, two is a very nice sweet spot. Then we've got one copy of Necrophobia. That came up only one time, and I was able to return a Lady Devamon from my trash to the field, which was super good. But I ended up cutting it in my updated list because it just didn't get utilized enough and I would rather that slot be taken up by something else. Then for our babies, we've got four Demi Miramon, and then one Yaman, the uh, Rastafarian Digimon here. Um, <laughs> no offense, sorry. Uh, but no, I, I, I like his name a lot, and I, I joke, you know. But those are the babies. I uh, don't want to make any adjustments with those. I think that's pretty solid. And then uh, let's go into the individual matchups themselves. And then we'll finish off the video with my updated list. On the, um, what's it called? The Top Cut website for the pairings here. And you'll take a look at my round matchups here. Um, I ended up going 6-2 and two overall, ranking 24th out of 256 people. So that's not too shabby, nothing to sneeze at. I'm actually really proud of that. First round, it was a overwhelming loss. I ended up getting my you-know-what shoved in by a uh, Imperial Dramon deck, and I just had no response to it. It was a devastating loss, to be quite frank. And then second round, uh, I got lucky and ended up getting a buy, so that was cool, free win. Can't be upset about that. And then the next round, I did end up losing... Uh, that was another Imperial German deck that I lost to. And then, all of our other matches... Um, <laughs> well, before I get into that, let me tell you a funny story. Uh, so after that loss, I said to myself, Okay, Mason, if I lose one more match, I'm going to drop out of the tournament so I can get my participation prize, right? I went on a five-game winning streak. What the hell? <laughs> but um, I ended up facing one red deck, and then all the other matches were straight green Sarasmon decks with none of the limitations or restrictions instituted within them. And I beat them all. Woo! Hell yeah! Um, sorry, got a little excited there. But... Those matches were so crucial. 
Um, and they were they were really close. Like they honestly could have gone either way, but I ended up just eking it out against the green Sarasmon and I I just I can't wait till those adjustments go through because Argomon, the level five as well as hidden potential discovered, are absolutely broken cards. And I can see why Bandai restricted them to one per copy starting April first. So that's kind of how the matchups went. Um, there's nothing really too crazy uh, in terms of um, kind of strategy other than you want to like use your retaliation guys against like the bigger threats if they're suspended. And then if they're unsuspended, obviously you want to hit them with that Trump sword. Uh, but yeah, I mean... It was pretty cut and dry, not a lot of uh, really quote unquote thinking involved. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, but yeah, I just, I had an absolute blast. I want to thank, you know, Top Cut for running the event, you know, all the people who were working the event, and then all the people that I faced, as well as, you know, talk to and like chat and stuff. It was just really, really awesome. Met a lot of cool people and uh, made some friends along the way. And, you know, got some uh, Constellation prizes. So. Can't be upset about that. I'm overall happy with my performance. So with that being said and out of the way, uh, let's go into my updated list. Let's get started with this uh, deck profile for my updates to the purple deck that I ran in the Top Cut online webcam event. So let's start off here with our babies. We didn't really change too much about them. We got our Demi Miramon, you know, trigger draw one. On deletion, you trash one. Very good effect. Helps you cycle. Oh, there we go. And then one Yaman for the extra DP gain. I like him a lot better than using Pagumon because we just have other cycling engines in this deck. And having that extra DP actually does come in handy. So <clears throat> put them to the side here. We'll go through our rookies here. We got one, two, three Impmon. Right there. Then we got one, two, three Demi Devamon because you want that two drop to help you, uh, you know, with that memory choke game to help kind of manipulate that memory. And then with the Impmon being able to trash the top three of your deck. To make sure you activate that Lilith Mon effect as well as um, Piedmon also is beneficial. Night Raid also works in conjunction with him too. But then we got our Gabumon 1, 2, and 3. Then we got two Taper Mons because on deletion, trigger draw 1. Oh, actually, no, 3. 3. And then let's get to the savior of the deck. Gazemon, your opponent cannot gain memory except with Tamer effects. This card comes in clutch so much. So much. It, it's honestly insane how useful this card is. I'm actually debating on cutting one of the Tapermon for another one of him because he comes up so much, especially in the Shine Greymon match. Or in a deck that uses like Hammer Spark or something, it completely negates Hammer Spark. If you check it in security, or let's say your opponent has it in their hand, they just can't use it because it just doesn't gain them that memory. And then, you know, Digimon effects that gain memory don't activate either. So it's just an insanely useful card. Uh, it's very reminiscent of Chumon from Black. As well as, um, oh gosh, Terriermon in green. So highly, highly recommend running this in purple. Uh, cannot speak uh, highly enough about it. Uh, you know what? I am going to cut one Tapermon for an extra of him because it's just that good. Um, but they have four blockers with your Vilemon. <clears throat> Only one Saber Jermon, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and then one Miramon to help with that choking because he only costs one to Digivolve. I'm debating on cutting her for another one of him, but that retaliation does come in handy. Um, so we'll put him over here. 
Then we got one, two, three, four, four Devamon, obviously, because it's, you just, you need it. You really need it. And then we'll kind of move these out of the way to showcase one of the pride and joys of the deck here. We got Lady Devamon. One, two, three, and four. Just look at this artwork. Her effect is so broke. So broke. Because, <clears throat> as I said earlier, her effect is when you digivolve into her, you trigger draw two and then trash two, which helps you build up your graveyard. And then this inheritable right here is game changing. When you use an option card, you may delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. Absolutely insane. And I'll show you a combo with that here soon. And here come the updates. So we got two Magna Angemon, and there's a reason for this, because it helps you stabilize. Then we got two Chimeramon, because of his on-play effect, helps you with Rookie Rush, as well as... Um, if they've got level fives out on the field, uh, super beneficial. I cannot see myself running less than two. <clears throat> then we got two Lilithmon. I think we're up to our Megas now. Then we got two Mastemon to Digivolve from the uh, Magna Angemon or any purple level fives. Super, super useful. Then we got two Piedmon, two Millennium Mon. He comes in very clutch, especially if they have a, like, huge threat on the board, like a Ragnalord Mon, or like an All Force, or Omni Mon, you, you know, you name it. He's the <clears throat> kind of boss monster of this deck, along with, uh, you know, Piedmon and Lilith Mon, obviously. Kind of put him up here. Then we got one, two, three Trump Sword. Initially, I had four, but I ended up cutting the fourth one because I just saw it too much, and I only need three. Excuse me. little burp there. <laughs> we got one Heat Viper focus camera. Thank you. <clears throat> this is very useful because you may delete one of your opponent's, one of your Digimon to delete two, yes, two of my opponents level four or lower this is very useful for again rookie rush or imperial german with those pesky little v-mons with jamming so we run one of him two night raids two darkness claw these are super crucial when they get checked in security oh my gosh and it's also really beneficial come on camera focus there we go. It's also super beneficial with that plus 3,000 DP gain. This is a great card. And I'll show you why here once I get done with our last two cards. Matashita, obviously, he's super good. Helps you with uh, recursion from your graveyard. I want to run three of him, but I'm having difficulty determining, you know, what I want to cut for him. <coughs> Maybe I'll do, uh, cut one Tapermon for another Gazemon and then cut Saber Dramon for, uh, Matashita. That actually doesn't seem like a bad cut, to be completely honest. So, there is my deck, um, and the updates I made to it. But let's kind of show you one combo here that I am absolutely in love with. So, let's say you've got your Lilithmon on top of a Lady Devamon, right? So check this. If you have enough in your trash, when you use an option card, you gain two memory. So combine Darkness Claw or Night Raid. You essentially gain one memory for this. You cast this for free. Plus, when you activate that, it triggers Lady Devamon's effect of the once-per-turn inheritable, deleting their level 3 Digimon if they have one. Absolutely bonkers, insane, value on top of value. We're in Value City, getting some hot deals. 
So, yeah. That's a crazy combo. Crazy combo. But yeah, that, that's kind of like the biggest um, benefit of this deck right there. And it is really, really good against green. Super good. Um, so, yeah. Give it a shot if you want. Um, hopefully it goes well for you as it did for me in the Top Cut event. All right, we're back. And hopefully you enjoyed that deck profile. I thought it was really awesome. And uh, hopefully you got some good kind of pointers there. Um, I know I'm not like the best um, in terms of, you know, a player yet. Um, but, I mean, I did place 24th out of 256 people in the Top Cut event. Uh, granted, I would have liked to have placed top 16, but alas, I fell just a little bit short. But again, like I said prior, I had a lot of fun, learned a lot, and I think I'll do even better in the future. Uh, so that'll do it for today's video. Uh, thank you for those who kind of stayed and tuned in. And you now I hope you guys stay safe out there. And above all else, I hope you stay rad. Take care.